Here's a problem looking for a solution. We have a great graphic, but in some cases the sharpness of the graphic makes it difficult to read the text, especially in the lower left corner. A common solution is to blur the background behind the text and create a new layout template for the text graphics, like songs or in this case communion. So let's open Photoshop's Elements. It's pinned to, this, to the Start menu. Selecting Photoshop Photo Editor. We're going to open the file. EFG. There we go. Open. Now I want to make sure that I have Expert selected at the top. I can select Guided or Quick, but the one I want is Expert. We're going to do our modifications in a layer, so I'm going to go up here to the top in the menu, select layer, and I'm going to duplicate the existing layer. Okay, just select the title. I want to make sure that I've selected the layer over here in the right hand that I'm going to be working on. Let's go to the filters and select blur, and I'm going to select Gaussian blur. And let's see, I can I can reduce the effect of the blur or keep it. Let's set it at about six and a half. That's about right. Okay. That's good, but there are a couple of things I can do to improve the graphic. One of them is that I can make this area up here a little bit sharper where I can distinguish the figures and the puzzle and down here in the lower right. So I'm going to go over here and click on Eraser. I want to select the, my brush size to about 100 and my opacity to about 30 and that's about right. And now I can come up here with my brush and just take a piece out of it, go a, a little bit there and as you can see the fingers and the puzzle piece are coming back into clarity. I can understand what they are a little bit better and now I'm going to go down in the lower right to the thumb that we see there and do a little bit of the same. That's good. Okay. I'm still not satisfied with the artistic appearance, so let me try one more thing. Let's go back up here to Filters and select Artistic. And one of my favorite ones is under Underpainting. And as you can see, let's see, I can, I can select the scaling or the, the effect of that. I can make it less or I can make it more, let's see, let's leave it at about six. I kind of like that. That's what I'm going to select. While I'm here, I can show you some of the other effects. Here's watercolors. Here's sponge. Here's poster edges. Rough pastels. Smudge stick. Plastic wrap. Palette knife. Paint. Fine Gain, Grain Fresco, Neon, Dry Brush, Cutout, Colored Pencil, but maybe you can see why I like underpainting. I'm going to select, select that. Okay. And that's what it looks like right now. Now what I'm going to do is come up and I'm going to save it. And I'm going to save it first as a PSD. Now PSD will preserve the layers so if we want to go back and make changes we can do that. So let's go ahead, it's in the right place. I'm going to save that now. Click. And coming back up I'm going to save it again but this time I'm going to save it as a PNG file. That's the default that we normally use for everything and that's what we'll use to include it in the PowerPoint file. So I'm going to save that again. Okay, let's go back to our uh, let's go back to our PowerPoint presentation. Here we go. Now what I want to do is view. I'm clicking on the view at the top, the slide master, and the one the, the template that I want to change is the title and content. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to duplicate that. Then going to the duplicate. I'm going to come up here and insert picture and I'm going to go down to get connected one more time 
and I'm going to select the bur blurred version. Insert. Now what I do is I need to go back up to arrangements up here and select send to back. All right, now let's uh, let's return coming back up to view and view normal. Here's my slide. It still has the original graphic, but what I can do is right click in an open area and come down here to layout. And now I'm going to come over here to this third title and content. That's the blurb that we looked at. And there it is. Much more readable. The fingers are still identifiable in the upper left and the lower right corner. That's much better. See you in the next video.